Hi everybody, in many cases we need to generate random data for testing. Sometimes we want to create a table and insert a number of rows to it or do all of those things and I always hated to do that, so we've created a tool that does it for you. Let's have a look. I'm going to go to um, blah, 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 entities and I have the list of all the entities in my application and at this point they are all empty. As you can see, none of them have rows. So let's uh, generate some rules for them. Let's start with suppliers. I'm uh, going to go to suppliers and I'm going to say generate random data. And it will allow me to select the values that I want to do. So I want the supplier ID to be value between 1 and 20 and the company name to be names. Great. Let's run that. So I'm going to say generate, let, I want 5 rows. And it created 5 rows for me. Great. So let's go now and generate some more data. Let's go over to Customers and right-click Generate Data and here as you can see there are more options. For the Customer ID I want to generate a number and it's going to be between uh, if 1000 to 2000. Company name and DP of type names, Company contact name will be names, contact title as you can see it's title, address is an address, cities is a city, you can select from combos of multiple types of things that you can choose. Uh, for example, region, I can say value from list, north, south, and uh, center. I can right click it and say test to see the values that comes out. Great. Let's do that. And let's generate. So now we have some customers generated. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and generate orders for these customers. Now, here's an interesting thing. The customer numbers are obviously random, but I want to reference customers that I know exist. So the trick to do that is to go to customers and generate an Excel document. And let me just put the Excel document in the right screen. Copy the customer IDs. And then, when I go over to generate my uh, orders, in the customer ID column I can say values from list and here I can press F6 and paste the customers in the list. So it's going to be one of these customers. As you can see for dates I can again get dates or I can even restrict the date by saying ship date is going to be from January 1st, 2020 to uh, 31st. Though. 5-5-2025 and ship here will be 1 to 3 great and also these settings are saved so you don't have to forget them they are saved in your uh, user settings and um, generate so now we have all those four customers with great data generated for them great I hope you like it and hope you use it and if you want to change it, of course, you have the source code for it. It's in ENV Utilities. You are welcome to play and do whatever you like with it. Enjoy!